What's going on guys? This is Jonathan with TLD. I've gotten a few requests on how I do my outros to my videos. If you guys haven't checked them out, um, it's a little bit different. Customize them where you can have the video playing. Um, uh, so this is actually a tutorial on how to increase views, uh, subscribers, basically drive traffic to other sites, even Twitter, uh, Facebook, basically whatever you want. Um, but the main portion of this is how to increase views. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to have basically a never-ending interactive link of videos. So they're always uh, intertwining and they're always checking something else out. So not just that new video that you uploaded, but they're going to check out the one before. Um, now I've seen a few people do this, but I took it to uh, basically a little bit different of a level. Um, and customized it in Photoshop. Now I'm going to do two portions to this. I'm going to do an advanced one if you have Photoshop. Uh, and if you don't have Photoshop, I'm going to show you guys how to do basically the same thing uh, in a little more of an easier tutorial. So if you guys don't have Photoshop, don't want to watch this part of it, go ahead and click this little uh, icon that will shoot you to the end of the video. I'm going to go over the basic tutorial for you guys, a little bit easier one. Uh, or you guys can just check it out. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm going to play it for a minute right now. Just uh, basically import my old video along with the, the template I created in Photoshop. I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So I have Photoshop open right now. Um, if you were to open it, um, depending on what video size you have, um, that's what you're going to create the file to. So uh, most of my video, uh, I usually export it to 720, but as the stock footage comes in when I import it, it's at 1920 uh, by 1080 HD, so that's full 1080p. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. Um, exit that one, I already have the one open, but basically that's a full HD portion of what your video would look like. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, actually fill this in. Now what I do is I actually leave this transparent and save it to a PNG format um, just so I can have a little cool, uh, like maybe the arrow overlaying. You guys will see that later in the tutorial, but I'm going to fill this in black for right now just kind of as a guide uh, and then we can delete that after. So um, where I get a lot of my icons actually is my favorite, uh, one of my favorite sites is iconspedia.com. So I'm going to post a link to that um, in the description so you guys can search anything from Facebook. Um, to Twitter. Basically, they have a ton of different uh, icons. You guys can see I use them in my banners and to desi design other channels. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just type social media just for the simplicity of the tutorial right now. Um, that way we can all have similar uh, icons. That way they all interact and they all look the same. Um, so you guys can see we have a Facebook right here. It'll give you the option. You want to do PNG because that's going to allow you to have the background uh, transparent and that's going to be able to be easier to in, in, uh, insert into Photoshop. Alright, so we have the Facebook icon right here. We're going to go ahead and download the biggest uh, file. So go ahead and click that. Uh, it's going to go into your downloads folder and uh, go ahead and get that open for you guys. So got a few downloads here. Um, let's go ahead and open this with Photoshop. Um, so we're going to press Command A. Uh, that's going to select it. Command C is going to copy it. And then we're going to go ahead and paste that into uh, the template. So there we have the Facebook right here. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll go back and get the Twitter in there. Um, this is just a quick example. You don't have to do the Facebook or Twitter. Whatever uh, website or whatever you want to have it, you guys can be creative. Uh, and customize it your own way um, and link it to whatever you want. So let's go ahead and open this with Photoshop. The same thing, Command A, Command C, and then we're going to do Command V to paste it. Um, this is just a couple uh, keyboard shortcuts for uh, for Photoshop. So go ahead and place those. We'll go ahead and align them. Um, I like to get into the habit of naming everything so that way everything's organized and you don't run into confusion after. So uh, the Facebook and we'll go ahead and create some text. So usually it'll be black when you're playing your videos. So go ahead and select whatever you want. So Facebook uh, dot com slash TLD today. Just use mine as an example. Go ahead and get that a little bit bigger. And then we can put that on the bottom. Now the reason for the template is you can actually import these into whatever you're doing, whether it be Final Cut Express, uh, Vegas, uh, ScreenFlow, but you're going to have a bunch of layers. So not only is that going to take longer to render, um, but you're going to have to do a lot more work every time. So if you make one kind of pre-made uh, template, uh, it's going to be a lot easier and it's going to save you render time. Uh, and the more time you can save, obviously, the more you can do. So let's go ahead and chase this uh, to Twitter. 
And like I said, whatever it's your email, whatever you want it to be, you can do that. Um, and these are just a couple ideas I had so we can line them up there. Uh, I won't go too uh, into OCD about lining them up right now. Um, this is just a quick example to show you how to do it. And you guys have that idea. So uh, here, like I said, this is the background. You can go ahead and mute that. Uh, now a good idea is to, you can touch it up with a drop shadow for the text. That way it pops a little more um, on whatever you have it. And you guys, I mean, I'm not the best Photoshop guy, but if you guys are a little more advanced at Photoshop, you guys can basically do whatever you want with this. Um, so let's go ahead and turn that guide back on. And now we're gonna actually, uh, you're gonna visualize where your video is gonna be. So we can take that same text, uh, duplicate it. You're gonna make this one a little bit bigger. And like I said, I, I'll reiterate this again. You guys can make this however you want. So um, check out the latest video. Now you can even have it corresponding to, uh, it doesn't have to be the latest video, it can be just a related video, something you guys want to have promoted of your videos. So let's go ahead and increase this uh, to a good size and put that up there. You guys can place it wherever you want. Um, I like to do, mess around, an easy way to make an arrow. I know you can make the arrows in Photoshop, but this is just a quick way to do it. And then you can uh, basically uh, rotate them, Command T, that's the transform for you guys using Photoshop. And just basically where you would have the video is uh, visualize where you'd have it uh, located there. And you can add a couple more. Um, and you can add a couple more arrows, um, rotate them however you want, just pretending the video is there. Like so. And then what we're gonna do uh, like, so this is just a little makeshift one showing you guys how I do it. Um, you guys would see the video, um, for example, just for a visual for you guys, you, the video would be like right here or whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and delete that. Now what we're going to do is actually turn that off. So this is going to be uh, basically a transparent version. You guys can save this as a PNG. So that way, if you want to have the uh, arrow overlapping on the video, and I'll show you guys how that works in a minute. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save this as desktop. You want to save this as a PNG so you can say uh, YouTube outro. And we'll go ahead and save that to the desktop for now. You guys can save it wherever you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up Final Cut. Here's mine that I have set up right now. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and import the new one so you guys can uh, see how it works. Uh, and like I said, this is very similar to Final Cut Express. Uh, but you can do the same thing in ScreenFlow um, or any, I don't know how uh, GarageBand is, uh, not GarageBand, excuse me, uh, iMovie. I don't know how many layers you can have in there, but here's just an example for this. So we're going to go ahead and put that. I'll actually go put this over the top. So this way, since it's, tram it's transparent, you can actually have uh, the arrows uh, overlapping the video or you can, like if you had the text going over here, you can do that and it's not going to get in the way. Um, so we'll go ahead and line that up right here. Um, you're going to have to render it, obviously. And like I said, the plus to this is you're going to you're gonna save time with rendering. Um, and like I said, the way you interact these videos, now with the, the newest video, you're going to have people checking out the, the video before this, so that's going to increase views. And it's really a good way to keep all the traffic even uh, and just, like I said, increase your overall traffic. And with the, the addition to Facebook or Twitter, um, or even having the subscription link in there, that's going to increase your subscribers, it's going to increase traffic to Facebook, Twitter for your followers. Um, I think I've learned a, a little tip too, is actually verbally ask them to check out your Twitter or your Facebook. Even though there's text, um, it seems like people will respond better um, to actually asking them verbally. So that's a little tip for you guys. I'm going to jump over to the, the more, if you don't have the Photoshop tutorial right now, all right, now I'm jumping over to the, the easier tutorial, or for those of you that don't have Photoshop, um, I'm gonna show you how to do the kind of the same effect and get that going. So I'm gonna use Final Cut Pro right now. This will work in Final Cut Express, uh, ScreenFlow. Um, so basically, like I said earlier in this lesson, Iconspedia uh, is one of my favorite places to find the PNGs. PNGs are important because they have the background clear, and those are easy to import into whatever video uh, editor that you have. So I've downloaded a couple right now. I'll show you this one just for an example. This is the Twitter icon. So that's in my downloads folder. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump back to Final Cut and 
import those files. I have a Facebook also, and I stressed it in this video as well. It doesn't have to be the same. You guys can be creative uh, and basically customize these however you want. Um, so there's the Twitter one. Now we have that in there. Now we can actually drag this over uh, into Final Cut. Resize them. See, the thing with that is uh, why I do like having the Photoshop is you don't have to import all these layers and it's going to save you time with rendering. Um, and you just have to import one file basically every time you do your video instead of having to do this every time or copy and pasting and rendering it every time. Um, let's go ahead and get the Facebook. Same Facebook one. So just like we did for the Twitter, go ahead and pop that in there as a layer. Resize it. And now we have those. And then we're going to want to do the text. Um, so uh, depending on how your program is, I know ScreenFlow does text, Final Cut Express, Vegas, um, whatever it is that you have, you can do this uh, similar type effect. Um, so let's go ahead and select this and basically like in my video, um, go ahead and do that, resize it, make sure that fits. Pop that in there as another layer. So you guys start to see all these layers build up. Um, now it'll work and you get the same desired effect, but it's going to take longer to render. Um, so if you really can get a hold of Photoshop um, and doing it like that, it'll save you a lot of time. Um, and the same thing, you can copy, paste this, uh, kind of get the arrows effect that I have going on, edit that, and put that to the video. So this is just a quick little... Uh, basically overview of it but now you guys can see how that works but you'll see it's a lot choppier uh, if you watch the whole tutorial and it's a lot more rendering that you're gonna have to do so you can add the text to the Twitter to the Facebook you can add YouTube to subscribe whatever it is if you do uh, your email um, if you have uh, basically Tumblr or anything else like that you can link it to those with the descriptions so um, like I said, this is basically, I wouldn't really even call it a simpler tutorial, but this is for those of you who don't have um, Photoshop. If you guys can apply this to ScreenFlow uh, or iMovie or any of the other uh, video editing programs. But uh, that's just, I've had a few requests, so I hope this guy's helped you guys. Uh, for you aspiring tech reviewers, uh, wondering how to increase traffic and your views and your subscribers. Um, but that just about does it for this tutorial. So I'll have a few more actually uh, YouTube tips uh, coming up in the future. So as always, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. And just like this tutorial, check out my Twitter, my Facebook, and be sure to check out the latest video.